So welcome back to my channel and you are watching English Flight and I am Partijit Bora. So today I am bringing for you the most important long question answers of your favorite chapter Lost Spring. So here I am just uh, I am just taking for you important question answers. Okay. So uh, the first question is that describe Simapuri or explain the phrase Simapuri a place on the periphery of Delhi yet miles away from it. Or food is more important for survival than an identity for rack pickers. Explain it or describe the rack pickers of Simapuri. So why I am writing or or or. So let me make you know that why I am writing like that because of all these questions. What I am just reading it. The answer is same. The questions may came differently but you have to write the only one answer so that is my intention okay so here i'm just saying that simapuri so describe simapuri then the phrase simapuri a place on the periphery of delhi so uh, question may come like that also and question may came uh, may come in this way also food is more important for survival than an identity for rack pickers explain it uh, i think that uh, it is in inverted comma so or describe the rack pickers of simapuri so all these questions have one answer only. Questions may come differently. So, don't worry. Okay. So, answer is ready for you. The answer is that. The author, Enshun, clearly described about the barefoot rack pickers of Simapuri. So, Simapuri is a place on the periphery of Delhi. It is a settlement of more than 10,000 rack pickers who came from Bangladesh in 1971. They live here with no identity or permits, but they have ration cards that enable them to vote and buy grains. Food is more important for them than their identity. Children grow up to become partners in their survival. And survival in Simapuri means rack picking. Children without chapels appear in the morning with their plastic bags on their shoulders and disappear by, by noon. For them, garbage means wrapped in onda. They may find a rupee or a 10 rupee note or even a silver coin. There is always a hope of finding more. Simapuri is on the periphery of Delhi, yet it is miles away from it metaphorically. The rack pickers live in structures of mud with roof of tin and tarpaulin that means waterproof cloth. There is no sewage drainage or running water. It is unimaginable that it is a part of Delhi, the capital of India, present capital. Okay. So second question is the history. How it is history? Because let me let me clarify the fact that this question came constantly consecutively in the six important years 2014 15 17 18 12 and 20 so what is this that's why i'm i'm, I'm just saying it it is one of the most historical question of firozabad from lost spring and one one thing you you, you just keep it in your mind that all the time important questions come all the time from the Firuzabad part. So be careful and put your best concentration on the Firuzabad part. Okay. So Firuzabad part is very important. All the times maximum question comes from Firuzabad part. Okay. This question, question is also part of the Firuzabad. So 2014, 15, 17, 18, 20 and 2012. So six years consecutively same question repeated 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 so one of the most favorite question for the council question paper setters so let me clarify the question the describe the miserable plight of the people of Firozabad or mention the hazards of working in the glass bangles industries or describe the bangle makers of Firozabad how does the vicious circle of sahukers the middleman never allow them to come out of their poverty okay so or what forces conspires to keep the workers in poverty so all these questions have one answer only okay so let's start for the answer 
the answer is that the author Ain Chung deliberately described the miserable plight of the people of Firozabad. Firozabad is famous for making bangles. Every other family is engaged in bangle making. It is the center of India's glass blowing industry. People have spent generations walking around furnaces, welding glass, making bangles for the women in India. Over 20,000 children work illegally in the glass furnaces with high temperature in dingy cells without air and light. People work in dark apartments with no windows. Their eyes are more adjusted to the dark than to the light outside. So many of them lost their eyesight before becoming adults. Mukes family is one of them. His grandfather also became blind with the dust from polishing the glass bangles. Years of hard labor have killed their initiative and ability to dream. The bangle workers of Firozabad refuse to change with the time. They have, they have, they have, uh, they have fell in the web of vicious circle of sahukars. Middlemen, policemen, politicians, and the keepers of law. They can't organize into a cooperative because if they organize, they are hauled up by the police and dragged to jail. For helping them, there is no any leader among them. These are the forces conspires to the Bengal workers in poverty. And does the author explain the miserable plight of the Bengal makers of Firuzabad? Next question. Same question. Or they talk endlessly in a spiral that moves from poverty to apathy to greed and to injustice. Explain it. Same. So see the above question answer number two, page number. So another question left, but the answer is same. Okay. So then uh, I'm just, you know. Uh, I'm just reducing your effort and labor. No need to read much. Only one can give you to solve many questions. Only one answer. So number of thought is that how is Mukes different from the other children of Firozabad? Why is the author shit when she looks into his eyes? Or who is Mukes? What is his dream? Describe how he spent his life. How can he realize his dream? The answer is same. The answer is that Mukesh lives in Firozabad, a town which is the center of India's glass blowing industry, where families have spent generations walking around furnaces, welding glass, making bangles for all the women in India. He is a bangle maker of Firozabad. His family is also engaged in profession. They live in the miserable condition. For making bangles, they have to work hard. They have to work in dingy cells without light and fresh air. Mukesh is different from other children. He is a dreamer. He is a dreamer. He dreams to become a motor mechanic or to drive a car. He is determined to convert his dreams into reality. After becoming a mechanic, he could get, he could get uh, by clearing the the driving test. He is very practical because he doesn't dream of flying a plane. When the author looks into his eyes, when the author looks into his eyes, In Shung is shared up and delighted at seeing new determination of Mukesh fish. The author looks into Mukesh's eyes, beam, be, beaming with hopes of, of a bright future so that's all for today's video and wait for the next video and i'm just saying to my new learners subscribe my channel share it among your friends and press the bell icon so have a nice day